So hey, it's TR back with another episode in my truck camper renovation series. It's finally spring, it's been a really long winter, things have been covered up. But now it's time to get back to a project I actually started last fall and then I just ran out of season. And that is getting all these roof vents ready to come off. They use this asphaltic weatherproofing crap and it is a bugger to get off. The only way I found to do it was with a heat gun and scraping. First thing I need to do is I'm going to take this cover off. It'll be interesting to see how many wasp nests there are under here. Just one. It's been, it's been dead for a long time. So, this is in not bad shape, but the seal here is really in tough shape. Let me show you. <clears throat> so you see how this is peeling off here? Look at that. So, we got to take all that out of there. All right, this thing was in really rough shape. It wasn't even sealed in here, you can just see, look at all this dirt. So, that wasn't sealed at all. Um, I hope it didn't leak, it doesn't look like it has. I'm gonna pull this cover off. So here's a little trick for you. If you got a screw head that's full of uh, gunk, like this one here, just take one of the other screws and just use it like a drill, so watch. And that'll usually open up the head enough. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It only took about 15 minutes, so. I'm surprised this can be about that. This patch, this patch right here, uh, I'm not too worried about. This back here, there's a shit ton of that material on it, so it's gonna take a while. And then I gotta clean up all these mounts here for that luggage bar. So I need to pull all this off the roof so I can lift this roof off. Okay, well, you've seen enough for now. I'll be back. Well, I'm about two hours into this now. It's a lot of work. It's slow, it's tedious, but I've got that vent, the fridge vents pretty much taken care of. It was factory, it was okay. That one, the main cabin egress, it's in okay shape. I've still got some work to do on that front seam you can see up there. But the one that's been a real pain in the ass is right there. Yeah, I don't know what kind of tape this is, but I'll tell you what, it is sticky stuff. I mean, it looks almost like, I mean, look at that, all that adhesive. And it is sticky and a real huge pain in the rear to get off. I've had to heat it up considerably, which makes it even more sticky. <laughs> but slowly but surely, we're getting her off. So I'm going to do a little quick cleanup here and uh, keep working. That is not what you should use on a roof to seal it. I'm telling you that right now. If you're gonna do this, you should have got some Eternabon tape. All this asphaltic and rubber, silicone is what it looks like. It's some kind of rubber, but it didn't even stick to this tape. So 
So I'm not exactly sure what they did here, but there's some kind of a patch. If you look right here, you can see there's another piece of aluminum or tin. What I don't get is it looks like it's three, four individual pieces. It's just a half-assed patch. And uh, well, we're gonna have to get, get it all out of there. Look at this shit. I don't even have any idea what that is. It's some kind of rubber silicone. So I had a friend stop by and help me take the aluminum part of the roof off. Now we're getting our first look at the underside of the roof. And overall it looks okay with the exception of that vent right here. This is all rotted, moldy. It's been leaking and wet for a while. So I'm gonna have to replace this sheet of OSB. Over there I can see it's been leaking. You can see there's been water on that, this uh, sheet of thin, I don't know why they put that on there, but it's just uh, got a little bit of foam between a couple pieces of, uh, looks like cardboard or you know, uh, craft paper type stuff. But you can see here that this has been worked on and it's probably been leaking for a really long time. not looking so good back here we actually have water standing on this roof I hadn't noticed it inside but and it's pretty rotten over here you can see this had rotted out before and had done some kind of a patch on it we're gonna fix it right all right so I got my work cut out for me but I'm not too worried about it we'll get her done as you can see where I ended the other day uh, it was getting ready to rain on me, so I had to hurry up and stop and get things covered up. So I'm back up here now. I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up all this insulation and stuff uh, so I can get a look at the rest of this roof. I know that there's some really bad rot right over here. I already discovered that. Um, when I was putting the tarp on it, I was breaking parts of the roof off over here. I'll show you those in a second. Time to sort this wiring out. This is all clearance lights and stuff, and it all runs right over here and drops down right there. So I'm not sure why it does that, but we'll track that circuit down and find out. Uh, we've got these speaker wires here that I'm going to pull, maybe. Get them out of here. They're all people with the back it goes in a minute oh well here's the there's a really bad damaged area you can see that board I tore out just <clears throat> putting the tarp on it <clears throat> yeah I was just sitting here thinking that <clears throat> this is the way these projects go you know um, I knew it was rotten and, you know, I guess you sit here and you start to think, man, did I overpay for this? 
I don't think so. I think it's got some life left in it. But yeah, it can be really discouraging when you start to see stuff like this. Look at this patch. And it's like completely moldy too. Look at this over here. See that green stuff down there? All right, well, looks like I am into replacing the whole roof, which means the rest of this roof's gotta come off. Wow, it's so rotten and nasty and moldy over there. Wow, look at this mess. I just noticed this. Nasty and moldy that is. Here, let me get this out of the way. So I got a fair amount of work to do on this roof, don't I? But it'll all get done. Uh, it's just going to take some time and patience, and a little bit of uh, I don't know, probably, uh, probably a lot of cussing. <laughs> but we're going to get there. But yeah, this whole roof's going to have to be replaced. That's kind of a big drag. So if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. I always appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Ring the notification bell. A lot of great videos still to come on the truck camper rehab, as well as a ton of other stuff I'm working on. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you can do so by visiting my Amazon store. There's a link in the description below. When you enter Amazon through my store, I'll receive a small commission for what you purchase, but you'll pay the same price. And every little bit helps, trust me. When you're working on something like this and running into some unexpected expenses, it's always nice to have a little extra coming in to cover the other bills. You'll have to tune in for future episodes to find out how I fix this. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching, I sure do appreciate it. Till we get together for another truck camper renovation video, peace. Sometimes you feel overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed, I'm just thinking, man, <clears throat> it's a lot of friggin' work.